this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Jerome McGinley, actually bad. I wanted to bring up. Oh. There are, there are two types of retirements in the <laughs> so NHL. Not where I thought he was going. Two types of retirement in pro sports, you could say. There's the athlete that retires, and then there's the athlete that has retirement handed to them. Oh. oh. Really, Adam? I mean. Really? Really? <laughs> there's no way. I'll let, you, I'll let you go there, so, but there's no way you're going there. What I'm going to ask and throw out there. Ask. To the room. That's what you're going to say with a question. Is, is Jerome, an a- Jerome McGinley an athlete that retired? <coughs> or did he have <coughs> retirement handed to him? Jesse? Sounds like you want to take this one. Go ahead, Steven. No! He, I, listen. You yourself said, mm-hmm. oh, it's a shame he took that year out, the, the, the year, he had the year, the thing, the year. Time the tool man Taylor is undefeated. Agreed. Mm-hmm. And Aginla said during his press conference, his hip just one day was like, by the way, I'm shitty now. And it, like he didn't even know. He's like no pre-existing issues. It was just bad. And he tried to play through it. And it just stopped working. Was he going to go to the Olympics? Was he going to sign with LA during the uh, for the playoff run? He was injured. So this wasn't a player whose skills diminished with time necessarily. It was injuries. Who took him out? Again, I asked the question: Did did he retire, or did he have retirement handed to him? Doesn't almost every player have retirement handed to them? Is this a, is this like a, a badge of dishonor that he should be wearing? That he retired in his late thirties? Gretzky, did he have retirement handed to him? I am scored nine goals in his final year, but sixty-seven Steve. points or something. If there, was, I think. if there was a contract for Jerome McGinley in the 17-18 season, I think he would have signed it. Jesse. But there was none. The, so, the Calgary Adam's Flames, point, The Calgary Flames, Brian Burke said on Sportsnet to Faisal Kamisa that the Calgary Flames considered signing McGinley before they signed Yarmir Yager. I also have Twitter. But and Yager was a mistake. Look at how well it worked. It was a mistake. If somebody, if is it his fault that a team was not smart enough to I give think, it a shot? I think you're proving my point. Am I? In that, of course you think. Of course you think that. In that, you ever argue with yourself in the mirror for fun? <laughs> You've made an entire YouTube channel. Out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yes, I have. Sounds like a great business plan. All right, it's worked, man. Where's your hat? <laughs> I think th- that says a lot that the Flames, the team he's been with his whole career, the one that Jerome is associated with, and made could, the have really used some and could have really yeah. used him. Yeah, made the playoffs last year. They could have got Dougie, yeah. yeah. just, just <laughs> got Dougie Hamilton out to Moxie. And they just traded Dougie Hamilton. Let's talk about how smart the Flames are. Let's go. They Let's talk about how smart they are. They didn't even hand him a contract. Yeah. So... That says to me, no team offered him it. it there was nowhere him to, for him to play in the National Hockey League, so he kind of just had to retire. To Adam's point. Yeah, to Adam's unfair point. No, but it's, it's not it unfair, factually it incorrect. No, Adam is using it disparagingly, though. No, but it's not incorrect. It's not incorrect. There you but go. The tone, the stank <laughs> that he is putting on his point <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> It's wrong! The game, ah! the game passed by Jerome, and that's The it. game passed by Gordie Howe. Yeah. Except it didn't, because <laughs> he was playing into his 50s. Yeah, yeah but going, then why didn't he play into his 60s? Because <laughs> <laughs> he said finally, okay, I've had enough. He said That's it. why! He said, I, I, I believe in his press conference when he left, he said, I've never quit anything, and this is really hard for so me. So then keep playing! If you've never quit anything, just keep going. <laughs> I think you're missing the point. No, <laughs> I think. So here's here's the here's the difference. Some, some people now. choose retirement, and some people have to retire some because people, they can't play anymore. Some people are Brett Favre should have retired. Yeah, and some people are Brett Favre. I'm going to play three more years mm-hmm. for three different teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people so Brett are Favre is bad. That's Matt, what I'm getting from this. Some people are what it happened. is and always was bad. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. Martin Brodeur, piece of crap. Well, I mean, is that not a perfect example? 
He chose retirement. There are some that is he didn't so choose retirement. Much different. Retirement chose no Mario. No he, he could still keep. There was a. He was on a team when he retired. He was on a team, but he sucked. No, but so it, no, it, but that, that, that that proves the point. Aguila didn't even get that. Aguila, Aguila didn't get finished that. Finished the season on a bad team. No, but and, then he was still a guy who you could sign. Martin Brodeur was a guy you can sign, and someone said, "We still want you. You don't have to retire. There's a job for you There's here four to games play." St. Louis waiting for you to play on the ice, <laughs> and Jerome McGillan didn't even get that chance because he sucks. Because oh, he's terrible. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. I want to. Yeah. We're really just trying to Yeah, you did. <laughs> We're I really want to fight you. I want to fight my f- ex friend right now. You don't insult Jerome McGillan in front of me. The, okay. You don't do that. <laughs> How dare you? At 41. How dare you? At 41, is Jerome McGinley not a bad hockey player? Is he 41? To NHL standards. Is he 41? He's 41. I'm wow. pretty sure That's he's impressive. not. Yes, he is. 1977. At 41, is he not a bad... I disagree with Hockey DB. Is he not a bad well, NHL Jesse, player? Well, you're right. This is easy. <laughs> is he not I a, just disagree. Is he not a bad NHL player at 41? Probably. What did he get <laughs> in his last Probably. year? No, but why is that bad? Why is that bad? Don't act like there isn't a stench to the point he was trying to make. He scored 14 goals and 13 assists in his final season, 27 points. That is a depth player. Is Joe Thornton bad now? Because he's a depth guy for the Sharks. You know what makes Joe Thornton not bad? A team wanting him on their team. That absolutely does not make him good. He is still good. That is a horrible reason. An NHL team believing in you means nothing regarding uh, how good or bad you I are. I think it means... The <laughs> NHL is by far That's the dumbest is. league with the dumbest management. Like, there's no question. How dare you even try? So the NHL wanting you or not wanting you, to me, says nothing about how good or bad you actually are. It says very little. There's something there, obviously. That's ridiculous. <laughs> There's less than any other league. There's less than any other can league. I, can I they thought less what? David Clarkson, 575 for seven years. We're going to no, do that. All That's leagues smart. have bad contracts. Oh, my God. What, what are you talking about? have more than the National Hockey you, League. Steve. Are you going to sit here on this show and tell me that the NHL is smarter than the MLB? Steve. Then the NBA. Then MLS, even. It's not. Steve, though, first of all, all those leagues have contract structures that are very different. You can't you can't compare. First of all, I can't, can't believe compare we were talking them. about how much a Gillum means to us, and this is where we're at. You, <laughs> okay, hold you on, can't bro. compare the national hockey <laughs> the national just, football you league contracts because they're not guaranteed. You can't compare MLB contracts because you get them for longer. Twitter first thing in the morning is bad for you. Can I just, You're both bad for me. Can I can I just say this? No. I woke up and it was like. How can I turn this Jerome McGinley thing into a negative for Steve? <laughs> and then I texted Jesse. I'm like, go with me on this. <laughs> and Jesse, so we are literally just fucking with you. Yeah, but now you, now you give me a good point. But like, I think it is I a agree. fair point. But I, I think that's it's an athlete. not. <laughs> it's absolutely not. What player retires at the height of their game? Nobody. Many. Many. Jim Brown. Jim Brown. Who's that? <laughs> Never heard of him. No, but tell, tell me know, about sucks. the other leagues. He sucks. Tell me about the other leagues, Mr. I Know Sports. No, so Jim Brown was the best when he retired. He's, that the, was be- the best he's probably was. the best football player ever. No, but no, 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 no. He was the best he ever was yes. when he, like, retired. he retired. at 28 as the best running back to ever play. Why did he retire at 28? Because he didn't want to play football anymore. Okay, so that is an extraordinarily rare example. Oh my god, you asked for an example and I gave you one and then you dismissed the example. There's like five what examples the, What are you Bobby talking Orr? about? Bobby Orr <laughs> had retirement handed to Did him. Did I ask you for an example? Bobby Orr had retirement handed to him. Bobby Orr's <laughs> knees Why gave is out. that a bad thing? You know what's great? I was merely making the point Why that some retire. <laughs> Why are you both the worst? <laughs> oh my god! We have the Tom Wilson contract to get through, this was the best. and you're doing this? this, this, this I'm wasting my energy on this? Sorry, this was so worth it. I just wanted to get you pissed. No, I wasn't! <laughs> you're both trash! <laughs> By the way, no disrespect to Joe McGinley. We really just did this to fuck with Steve. <laughs> I don't know, Adam. But I'm here. staring at two people I don't even know anymore!